All right, we're at the last locus point of our rabbit genotype. If you've made it this far, you have done fantastic. Is probably this this locus point is probably uh, one of the most interesting to some extent because you get to do a lot of things, um, but I, there is a caveat that comes with working in the V locus, which is the Vienna gene. And that caveat is, as a breeder, you have a responsibility. Um, and we're going to learn how why it's so imperative that Vienna is treated so differently than other locus points uh, is because it's very overbearing on the genetic strain. Uh, it's a very strong uh, gene, uh, and it's, it's very powerful, but it also can be very, very damaging to your rabbitry and to any other color outside of the building of blue-eyed whites. So the caveat is this, and I know there's people out there that are not going to agree with this and they're not going to listen to this, but I'm going to tell you why and what that caveat is. The caveat is is that anything Vienna must remain in a separated program. Now they can live next to each other, that's fine, it don't matter. But they must not be bred to anything other than Vienna. So Vienna rabbits to Vienna rabbits is what you should be breeding. Unless you have a type problem of your rabbit, a physical attribute that you need to improve. And that's the only time that you should be using a colored stock rabbit. And you'll understand here in a little bit why it's so um, incredibly dangerous. Vienna has two alleles like it does in some of the predecessors here. Capital B meaning no Vienna and a lowercase v meaning Vienna. As in some of these other locus points we learn that you must have two copies of the lowercase letter which is the recessive. You must have two copies of that for the rabbit to present, correct? That's what we've learned for the last four locus points or five locus points is that you got to have two copies of that recessive trait for the rabbit to present. This all goes back to what the purpose of Vienna is. So yes, you do still have to have two copies of Vienna present to get a blue-eyed white. Now what happens when we get two copies of that Vienna? Well, what happens is Everything in this genetic string, every bit of information up here, we're going to wrap it up in white masking tape with our Vienna. Okay? Treat Vienna as white masking tape. It's going to cover everything up. It's still going to be there, but it's going to cover everything up. And make it your rabbit, if it's got two copies of this Vienna, it's going to turn it into a blue-eyed white. Removes, it masks all that rabbit in a pure white color and turns the eyes blue. That's what it does. And so you're saying, okay, well, that doesn't, I mean, what happens, you know, what in all these other locus points if we had one dominant and one recessive, the recessive doesn't show. Not when it comes to Vienna. And this is the only time that it, it, if you have one copy of the, the Vienna allele, none? No. It's possible that you could see no, no coloration. And what we have a, a couple of terms for a rabbit that carries one copy of Vienna.
and one dominant non-Vienna. One of those is called what we call VC, and they're called Vienna carriers. So if you look on a pedigree and you see a rabbit labeled blue VC, that means it's a Vienna carrier, meaning it carries this Vienna allele recessively hidden in its pet in its in its uh, genotype it may not it may not show any coloring at all it may be a black rabbit could be a blue rabbit it may show nothing it may not have a white mark on it it's still a vienna carrier it may not have blue eyes it's but it doesn't matter it's still a vienna carrier again that vienna carrier cannot be bred to anything else but how are you going to know you're not going to know if i was to you're not going to know for sure without breed testing to a blue-eyed white and if you breed test a, a vienna carrier to a blue-eyed white and you get a blue-eyed white in that in that litter that means that the rabbit that is not blue-eyed white is a vienna carrier now this does not mean go out in the world and, and test breed every one of your rabbits to a blue-eyed white that's not the goal. The goal of any Vienna program is to create blue-eyed whites. So what is another option? We, we actually have a second option here for a rabbit that carries that. And the second option is what we call Vienna marked or VM. Sometimes you'll see this is marked as black VM, blue VM. Okay. It could be it could be several different things, but VM stands for Vienna marked, and a Vienna marked rabbit again only copy, carries one copy. 